And in times like these, there are no small gestures. Everything we do adds up, whether it's a friendly wave, whether it's a phone call, or in the case of a Colorado restaurant that could be focusing on their bottom lines, food for those in need. Here's Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez. For the last two months, the parking lot of First Baptist Church in Denver has been bustling nonstop. 50 mixed to Fulbright Apartments. But the work going on here is only one part of a well-oiled machine. The process starts out here with uh, my pitmasters, Ben and Greg. They spend every day cooking about 2,000 pounds of chicken. And then whatever donated food we get, which is a substantial amount, we kind of prep that downstairs and figure out what that's going to do to go with the food that we're getting. It went from idea to delivery within a few days. We did about a thousand meals that first week of March 18th. And now today we're crossing the 150,000 meal mark. Kiara isn't only one of the Food Network's founders, she owns Lost City Coffee Shop located inside the church. And there was a moment, like many business owners, I think, where we thought, how are we going to save our business? And within a day, we realized that was the wrong question to ask, that we should really be saying, how do we use this business we're so lucky to have and this space we're so lucky to have to help others? Because of her decision to help, along with several other restaurants, thousands of families are being fed, even if the food delivered only lasts a couple days. After undergoing an unexpected surgery two months ago, Autumn Baldwin says she was worried about her family's well-being. Being a single mom, like the first thing that went through my mind is how am I going to provide for my kids? She reached out for help and says the relief she received meant a warm meal for her four children. It really means a lot to have an organization that can help you when you need them. And as long as there's a need, we go home very tired but feeling very good at the end of the day. People like those working at the Emergency Food Network will be there helping one meal at a time. Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7.